Welcome to another installment of Bearing the Axis Vlogs. I am Elani and today I'm going to share with you a little bit about the Gethiscus. And uh, it is a tradition that is prevalent in Hellenismus and it helps to keep your food stuff safe. This is a little jar. Traditionally it was shaped a little differently and it, back then it was called the Gethisco. It uh, was a little cup and it had two handles. And in it you put foodstuffs that uh, were sacred to, to Zeus Gethesius and he is the household lord, he is the protector of the household. And the foodstuffs you gave, gave to him so that he would keep your pantry safe from mold or infestation by rats for example. Uh, we do that now in Hellenismus. we usually have a little shrine in our pantry where we put our little jar of foodstuff. Our cathiscus. And the cathiscus is, um, like I said, a little jar with foodstuffs. I will show you tomorrow what to put in it and how to put in it. But I'm starting today because today is the Daifnan. And today is traditionally the day that you pour out the contents of the old one and clean the cathisco so you can put new content in on in the Numenia. So that is why I'm showing you today how my previous one looked and I'll show you tomorrow how to make a new one for the new month. See you then. All right, so after some fancy fading, you are back to a masterclass Gethiscus making. And um, in the tiny fade, a day has passed. I have emptied my Gethiscus and I've cleaned it thoroughly. I've also arranged some basic necessities for uh, my Kathiskas for this month. So what we are going to do is first add a little bit of olive oil to the jar. Just a layer. This is one of the basics, olive oil and water. The water is here and we add that in the end. Um, I'm not exactly sure why actually. They call it ambrosia or at least um, uh, one of the old writers did and this is just the way it's supposed to be made so that is how we make it. Um, and then I'm go just going to add stuff to it that we use a lot. So in this case I have some pasta here which I put in like that. And it's nice and curly which always looks very pretty especially when it gets a little bigger. Then I am going to add some couscous because we tend to eat that a lot and also gets a lot bigger which I really like. I am going to add some bay leaf to it just because it's a uh, that um, the ancients already had and I like to add it to soups and stews and things like that. I have some beans, just for some basic empty proteins, or proteins, it's a bean, it's not a protein in a bean, anyway, and I have some um, pine nuts, which are beautiful to roast, and we put through everything, like salads and pastas and things like that, so it is one of our favourites, and I think that every Cathiscus should have a good glob of honey simply because it's sweet and it makes me really happy so I sort of hope that um, it also brings some joy to Zeus Cathasius. And I also have here a few slivers of chocolate, dark chocolate a little more sweetness to it. But once we put that in, we also have a little tomato, which you also put in. Then you add the water. not to fill it entirely to the top just to give um, especially because I put in pasta and things that absorb water so if I fill it up completely then um, 
and it'll push through and it will soak the entire shrine. So and then I seal the lid again and then I can go back on the shrine. Um, you may use one of the hymns to Zeus when you put it back just so um, it is a bit of more of a sacred moment. And I burn some incense when I put it back in the um, incense cup I have uh, in the shrine. And that's it. That is how you make a catiscus. It is not that difficult. Thank you for watching.